Lisa. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we are live on Facebook and also on YouTube. <laughs> we actually are having a nice day here. Can you believe it? I have a sleeveless shirt on here. This is crazy. So I want to hop on and spend a little time with you guys today. You can ask any questions that you guys have, and I will answer them at the end. You may have seen on the Facebook page, I actually am excited to say I'm doing a thing called 30, 30 Tips for 30 Days. And what we're going to do is every day I will put a video up that uh, can help you guys. Quick, you know, two, three minute video of a tip that you guys can do for your Maltese, whether it's grooming, training, tools that I use, different things like that, okay? <laughs> and my friend Trish is here. Hey, Trisha. Trisha's a beast. She actually is a trainer and a groomer. So you guys better listen up. She knows her stuff. Um, but anyways, we're going to talk a little bit about a kit that I put together for you guys today. Um, Always Bright Eyes has been very, 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 popular and rightfully so i use it for maybelline not every single day like i should but i use it when i groom her and there's certain steps that i take i use the always bright eyes grooming kit and um it it really really the grooming supplies that they now produce are just as good as the always bright eyes tear stain remover so um, what i've done is kind of integrated the two and they all work really, really well together. So um, what I wanted to say is, is that in this kit, uh, I do recommend using all of the steps of the grooming regimen, the four steps. But the kit that I put together has this uh, super whitening face wash in it. So if you don't need shampoo and conditioner, you can at least get this. And so what I do is I have four different things in the kit for you guys. So normally when you buy Always Bright Eyes, it comes with the brush and the powder and the liquid, right? Comes with these things. But I added a couple of things to it for you guys. I'm going to add, this is the face, face wash. So this whitening face wash is highly concentrated. It does not turn the face blue at all. No bluing of the face. Some whitening shampoos are really bad about that. Like if you don't, use them correctly. If you don't dilute them, they will turn your dog. It looks like gray, kind of a bluish hue to the coat. That doesn't happen with any of the bright, always bright eyes products. Um, and you can put this straight on their hair and it will not turn their coat blue. So um, it goes a long way. You only need a tiny bit. I put it on her face. So when I'm <laughs> she's resting a little face on the table. If you can't see her, then you can just slide the comments to the right and it will take it off the um, off the screen. But anyway, um, when you are bathing them, so I don't I don't dilute their products. Um, and so basically what I do is I put, okay, obviously I wet the dog thoroughly. Then I put the shampoo full strength on the whole coat. I do not rub the coat. I work the shampoo through the coat like this. If you're rubbing and causing a lot of friction, it'll cause the coat to mat up worse. So I just kind of run it like long hair, run my hands through the coat and work it in. And while it is on the body, I put this on her face. So I put it in the corners of the eyes underneath here, put it on the beard. I also use it on the feet. So it works really, really well. Okay. So if your dog's out on the pavement, getting their feet dirty, if they're, you know, running around in the dirt and in the grass in the summertime, they get kind of grass staining on their feet. Um, that this whitening will work. Okay. And then after I blow dry her and she's all blow dried, then I come in and I put the liquid with this brush underneath the eyes, saturate the hair, and then I put this powder, and of course I rub it in. And right now you can't see her eyes, because see I'm growing her coat out, so you can't see her eyes very well. But um, 
I, I just work on that. Okay. Now, if you are trimming away, um, sure. Uh, Ruth, oh, Faith, sorry, my eyes are bad. Um, she's saying, can you give us a close up of her coat and undercoat? So, yes, yes, I use I use these products, and she doesn't have an undercoat because she's a Maltese, so she's a single coated breed. And um, basically what you wanna do is blow dry them completely. So I use the shampoo and conditioner while I'm bathing her in the sink. Then I towel dry her. I let her let the towel absorb most of the moisture. And then I use their, their spray mist, their miracle mist. And I spray it over her entire body. Then I blow dry her. And as I blow dry her, if the coat is getting super, super like kinky or fly away, then um, I put, I missed it again and I missed it again and I'm misting her as I'm blow drying her. The mist is good for um, while, while you're blow drying them and then also maintaining the coat. So if you're growing coat out, the mist will help to prevent matting. It, it, it uh, keeps the, the tangles out and things like that. So then and I'm all done with that. Of course I put the always bright eyes on her face. You should, if they have really bad staining, do it twice a day. If they have, just light stain. You can do it once a day. I prefer to do it at night. And do I comb her before the bath? No, I don't. It's a personal preference. If she had severe matting, then I would recommend using a dematting brush before you bathe them. However, I have found that the mats are easier to get out after you bathe them. Everybody, it's debatable. Some people say it's easier. Um, to get the mats out before the bath, you have less coat loss. It depends on the type of coat. When the mats get wet, then yes, they tend to stick together more. However, when you're putting, think about your hair. When you're putting conditioner on your hair, it's wet. And then as you blow dry your hair, you might have a leave-in conditioner you put on your hair. That's what I do. And then you're combing and blow drying at the same time. So honestly, I do what I do with my hair, right? Put the conditioner on, I blow dry it. While I'm blow drying it, I'm misting it, whatever, I'm brushing it. I've, I'm a master at getting mats out, okay? I don't mean to brag, but I am. I've tried all different products through the years, and I just have this ability to be able to work the mat out, okay? So basically, you know, you just have to keep blow drying and brushing through the mat, brushing through the mat, brushing through the mat. Uh. and reverse sneeze. Um, my nose is running for some reason. And then you just, um, you just keep working it out. Okay. So once the dog is dematted, then what you want to do is mist them with the miracle mist, like once a day, brush them with a pin brush. Okay. The other thing I'm going to put in the kit. So, so far we have the two-step process for the tear staining. We have the shampoo for the feet and the face. And then I'm also going to add these, um, these little clippers or shears to the kit as well. So you have everything you need to do the Maltese bathing of the face. Okay. These are just little curved to go in the corners of the eyes. Some people are able to use um, the clippers in the corners of the eyes and stuff like that. Not me. I absolutely have to just stick with the basics and I have to use, you know, shears in the corners of the eyes. I know a lot of groomers use um, clippers. So Maybelline's coat is growing really fast. Um, as you can see, her coat is extremely, extremely healthy and it's not staticky. Uh, her coat will probably be to the floor in about six months. And she is um, doing good. So she's my girl. Um, you should see her and Leo. If you guys have seen Leo on um, my Facebook page, Leo is our little um, terrier poodle cross, and he chases her. It's so funny, and she gets she gets so sassy with him. <laughs> so anyway, okay, now I'm going to answer your questions. Um, thank you, Nancy. Yes, peanut clipper. Jody is talking about a peanut clipper. A peanut clipper is great for the feet. Um, it helps them to, well, you don't have to worry about um, cutting their 
their paw, right? So you can go really nice and neat between the, the paw pads. You won't hurt their feet. Um, talked about, we talked about uh, combing. Jody was asking about combing before her bath. Yeah, I really go in depth a lot uh, up close on stuff in my course. In the academy, I talk a lot about, you know, how do you, when the coat's long, you know, how do you bathe it when the coat is long? How do you wrap the coat? Things like that. I'm going to be shooting some more video content in the course as well. Um, and I just wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about that kit. I posted the link yesterday. I'll post it below this video as well. It is all the steps that I use on Maybelline for her face. Oh, I don't have a picture of the peanut clipper. Um, the peanut clipper is, um, you can get it on Amazon. I don't sell them. Joanne's asking what a peanut is. A peanut clipper is a very, very small, petite clipper that's very quiet. It's very, very quiet, and it helps the dog not to be scared. Some clippers are big and bulky, so it's, it's easy to hold on to in your hand and um, works really well. So um, how many of you guys saw my video about the uh, plaque removal spray that I talked about? The plaque removal spray is something that I just put on her teeth in the evening. And after they you spray it on, it removes bacteria, it removes the plaque, softens the plaque, and um, her teeth are doing much better. Um, her breath is better, her teeth are better, and so I wondered if you guys saw it. I'm thinking about uh, ordering some of it wholesale price and see if you guys wanted some. Um, yeah, Faith, nobody, is everybody having a hard time seeing me? Because Faith keeps saying that I'm freezing up, so I want to make sure that all you guys. Um, yes, the whitener can be used. Someone on um, YouTube is asking if the whitener can be used. Yes, the whitener can be used between baths, but you would want to use it very, just a tiny, tiny bit, and make sure you rinse it out completely. Um, so basically, you just have to make sure it's rinsed thoroughly. So if you want to set them in the sink and then uh, basically just put a little bit on the beard and then rinse it out if you have a sprayer in your sink, that would work too. I just use it once a week when I bathe her because she's already in the sink being bathed. Or you could actually um, maybe dilute it, put it in a water bottle, but make sure you rinse it out. It's not a leave-in whitener. The, what, the leave-in is the Always Bright Eyes power, powder and um, and brightener. I don't. I don't know what's in it. It's all natural ingredients. But anyway, so this is something you would want to wash out completely. So the dental spray. Okay, Jackie. Good. Yes. Disinfect the blade. And um, yes. So Trish is talking about disinfecting the blade. Um. So Faith, I was talking about, it's called a Vets, a Vets Life Spray, and I had posted it a couple weeks ago. And so basically you, okay, so if I get, you know, some people interested in it, I paid like $11 in my vet clinic and I can get it much cheaper, but you guys need to let me know ahead of time if you want some and I'll order a batch of it. Um, it's, it is so good. You guys, she does not get sick from it. I put two squirts on each side of her mouth at night and her plaque has gotten way better. Um, you know how they get just this stinky breath from the plaque and it helps to fight infection in their mouth and stuff like that. So, um, okay. Jody is asking a training question. You have two male stud dogs. I use belly bands at night, trying to keep them from marking. Jody, that is completely their instinct. I was a breeder for eight years, and I can tell you that not only do males mark their territory, but intact females mark their territory as well. So um, if you want the, uh, the spray, comment below and let me know, and I'll try to make a list. Otherwise, message me, please. Um, 
So males can't help it. They mark their territory. And especially if you have two males, they're probably trying to mark against each other. And it doesn't matter what time, day or night, they're going to do it. So belly bands is great. Be careful to keep, it, keep them clean because they will get an infection, a bladder infection. You should brush their teeth, Debbie, weekly at least. Some people do it every day. Um, I have never been good about brushing teeth because I'm a busy person, but some people are meticulous about it. Like they brush them daily and that's awesome. I don't have the spray with me right now, Lori. It is, uh, if you look back at the Facebook posts, you will see. Yes. So someone's asking on YouTube, you spray, you don't have to dilute it. You don't have to use a toothbrush. You literally spray the dental spray on the teeth once or twice a day, it softens the plaque so that when you do brush the teeth, it will remove easily. It also, if they have inflamed gums and things like that from plaque, it helps them to, um, it helps to lower the inflammation, gets rid of the smell in their mouth, and also helps remove the plaque. Um, okay, awesome. So, uh, send me a message. Whoever's on YouTube, I can't see your name right now. So just send me a, a message. I will look on YouTube when I get on there. So that's about it, guys. Um, again, if you want this, it's on sale right now. The kit, I'm discounting it right now. If you go to Maltese Groom, click shop and go into my store. I also posted the link yesterday for the kit. You'll see an image of the set. It's on sale right now temporarily. So make sure you go ahead and order that. And that's about it. We're just hanging out, enjoying the beautiful spring day outside. It was like 70 some degrees outside. So anyways, any other questions? Uh, no, I do not get her teeth clean nearly like I should. Debbie, uh, I have my own opinions about putting the dog under and I don't like it. I think it's hard on them. I know there's vets that uh, that do, they don't put them under and they clean their teeth, but I haven't found one of those. So I try to maintain her teeth myself, but um, that's about it. So does everybody understand about the dental spray? You spray it in the mouth twice a day. You don't have to brush it off. Leave it in there. You don't give them food or water after you leave it in there because it's killing the bacteria and removing the plaque. So you put it in there once or twice a day. Bedtime works well. Their saliva um, somehow works with the spray and counteracts the plaque and, and it's pretty cool. So I'll put more information. When I get it on my website, I'll put more information about it. Okay. So thank you so much, you guys. If you have any other questions, you can comment below and be sure to tune in later tonight. I'm going to post a video 30 tips for 30 days. So I'm starting today for 30 days, which ends on uh, <clears throat> June the 1st. I will do 30 tips for you guys, one tip a day. The video will be a um, couple minutes, and it'll be a quick tip that you can use for your Maltese or your other dogs in your home. And um, just, you know, make sure that you follow along, turn on your notifications, because Facebook, if you haven't interacted with our page recently, it won't know that you are interested in our content. So you need to make sure you click like, comment, give me, my, give, give me some feedback, and then um, be sure to come back the next day. Okay, guys? It's great to see you all. Hope you're all doing well, and I hope that uh, your day is going well. Love, love, love. Good to see you guys. Thank you for all your um, comments. And let me know if there's anything you need help with, okay? If you're interested in our grooming school, you can go to MalteseGroom.com. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.